as well as the ready tied chod rigs that I've already described in the video relating to that product, a lot of people ask us what knot do you use to tie the chod rig hook, either an incisor or a deceptor or the new gardener chod hook, onto the trip wire, the super stiff nylon that is perfect for use with chod rigs and stiff rig end sections. The knot I use is a very specialised whipping knot. First off, put the trip wire hook link through the eye of the hook and form a sizeable loop holding the loop between the fingers of your left hand. Then place fingers into the loop and start rotating the outer part around the shank making sure that it is only that side of the, the, the loop that is spinning up and around the shank of the hook. This takes quite some practice but once you've mastered the art you'll find you can tie a perfect knot with bristle filament and, and trip wire every time you want to tie up a stiff link. Once you've done six or seven turns, lubricate the turns with some saliva and gently pull first one end through and then on the tag until the knot is held together but not fully bedded down. Now use your fingers to pull the whipping knot roughly into position because this stops marking the stiff nylon on the eye as you're pulling it through under pressure and lubricate again with saliva. Now you're free to pull it down tight first from the hook link side and then with your teeth on both and you'll find that unlike the knotless knot which is popular for normal nylon braided and skinned hook links the tag from the back of the knot will be far straighter and more rigid it's less likely to turn under pressure and keep the finished D that you'll use to mount the bait in the correct position for ultimate hooking efficiency.